What do a legendary game show and a record-breaking pop icon have in common? More than you might think. The long-running, beloved show Wheel of Fortune has undergone a dramatic transformation, one that fans aren't entirely sure how to feel about. The sparkly new set design, which debuted alongside the show's new host Ryan Seacrest, has left loyal viewers both intrigued and divided. But behind this bold redesign lies an unexpected inspiration, Taylor Swift's Epic Era's tour. When the news broke earlier this year that Ryan Seacrest would be stepping in to replace Pat Sajak, who had been hosting Wheel of Fortune for over 40 years, fans' new change was on the horizon. However, it wasn't just the change in host that shook things up. The show's set received a complete makeover, leaving many fans nostalgic for the familiar elements they've loved for decades. Now, production designer James Pierce Connolly is opening up about how Swift's electrifying era's tour became amused for the new Wheel of Fortune look, and why he believes this bold new chapter will eventually win over fans. Connolly, tasked with modernizing the iconic game show, drew a surprising parallel between Wheel of Fortune and Taylor Swift's musical journey. Swift's era's tour, which celebrates the various stages of her illustrious career, served as the blueprint for the design approach of the new set. Much like Swift revisiting her past albums, each with its own aesthetic and sound, Wheel of Fortune has its own rich history, decades of different looks, hosts, and set changes. According to Connolly, this parallel was too perfect to ignore. He told People magazine, the show has been through so many eras, literally like Taylor Swift. So when I approached this design, I wanted to capture all of them. One of the most notable changes to the set is the upgraded puzzle board, now bigger and framed by a dazzling gold tile border. This modernized design replaces the classic teal blue screen that had become a fixture over the years. Additionally, a colorful sunburst backdrop, along with an LED floor, gives the studio a vibrant new energy. Even the entrance has been revamped, Seacrest and Vanna White now enter through two parting screens, signaling a departure from the more traditional entrances of the past. And, in perhaps the most controversial change, the iconic wheel has been relocated to a new spot in the studio, sparking debate among die-hard fans. However, Connolly remains confident that the changes will grow on viewers over time. Everybody's reluctant to change, he noted, acknowledging the backlash. That's just normal, and when it was brought up to me that this would happen, and that the fan base is so loyal to the show, that's natural. He believes that like Taylor Swift's era's tour, which celebrated the different stages of Swift's artistry, the new set is meant to honor Wheel of Fortune's evolution while embracing the future. Fan backlash in Seacrest's debut, despite the designer's optimism, the initial fan reaction has been mixed at best. Many viewers took to social media to voice their displeasure, calling the new set terrible and longing for the familiar, cozy atmosphere of past seasons. Adding fuel to the fire, Seacrest's debut as host was met with criticism, not for his performance, but for what he didn't say. Fans were quick to note that Seacrest made no mention of his predecessor, Pat Sajak, during his first episode, which left some feeling that the show's history was being cast aside. Instead, Seacrest opened his first episode with a warm welcome to fans but focused on his excitement to take the reins of the beloved show. I still can't believe my luck being here with you tonight to continue this legacy of this incredible show, he said. He acknowledged the show's four-decade-long presence in viewers' homes, saying, I also know I've got some very big shoes to fill. Seacrest's decision not to mention Sajik led to an outcry, with fans feeling that more respect should have been shown to the longtime host on such an important night. Behind the scenes, however, sources close to Seacrest explained that the omission wasn't out of disrespect. According to DailyMail.com, Seacrest felt he had already paid ample tribute to Sajik in the months leading up to his debut and wanted to use this moment to focus on the future direction of the show. Appealing to a new generation, one of the most interesting revelations surrounding the new set is the clear effort to appeal to younger audiences. Along with the set overhaul, the show announced a giveaway for tickets to the 2024 Jingle Ball, 
further solidifying the idea that Wheel of Fortune is eager to attract a new generation of fans. While this has rubbed some longtime viewers the wrong way, it's clear that Seacrest and the production team are looking to infuse fresh energy into the show, much like Swift has done with her reinvented career. For Connolly, this forward-thinking approach was essential to the redesign. He revealed that even the new letterboard was inspired by a childhood memory he had of watching the show while growing up in New Jersey. His goal was to blend nostalgia with modernity, creating a set that both honors the show's past and looks toward its future. The result is a glittering, dynamic set that, much like Taylor Swift's era's tour, celebrates the journey while embracing change. While it's clear that the Wheel of Fortune redesign has sparked debate, there's no denying that the show is entering a bold new era. With Ryan Seacrest at the helm and a fresh, Taylor Swift-inspired set design, the game show is pushing forward, ready to appeal to both its loyal fan base and a younger, more modern audience. As with any big change, it will take time for viewers to adjust, but just as Swift's era's tour is celebrated for embracing her past while evolving with the times, Wheel of Fortune is hoping to do the same. Only time will tell if fans will come to appreciate this glittering new chapter.